the problem with top sheath is it gives you very little hand purchase. You only have like maybe two fingers, maybe three fingers to pull it out and then you got to readjust your hand. I don't think that's good for a, a, a knife fighting style. Also, it comes with this metal clip. All right, the metal clip itself is good, but it does stick out quite a bit and it does rotate. Okay, but that metal clip might be a little uncomfortable. Also, um, it's only one-sided. Okay, so you can't flip it around to the other side. So hand grip space is not really that good and, and I'm not a big fan of the clip, which is why I'm making a new holster for this, or sheath, I should say. What I'm gonna to attempt to do is I'm gonna use these rubber, rubberized clips, I'm sorry, uh, straps. You can also use these for holsters, but I'm gonna use them today for uh, the knife sheath. All right, so I'm gonna clear this off. I'm gonna start making some cuts and I'll narrate as I go. Uh, Guys, like I said, in order for me to keep doing this, I need you to go to uh, Three River Blades or Three River Kydex. Make a couple orders. Maybe you want something for yourself or somebody for around the holidays. Uh, also, um, go to the Patreon page. You know, it's a dollar a month. No big deal. It's not going to cost you a whole bunch of money. And, uh, yeah, let's get this thing going. All right, so what I want to do is I just want to get my black Kydex. All right, very simple. And what I kind of do is I make the sheath a little bit bigger than I need to. This way I could take away. It's easier to take away material than to add material once you've already done it. Put this stuff up on the side. So the cockpit commander made by Tops is really not a big knife. It's kind of small. And I'm going to try to do a taco method, which is to fold it in and then have enough holes on the side to attach it to a duty belt. Okay, so it's kind of my plan. Um, so what I'm going to do is just make a nice straight line, use my razor knife, make sure everything's squared up, take the knife away so I don't hurt myself, and just score it. All right. Cuts pretty easy. All right. Now I probably don't need all this Kydex. So what I'm going to do again is I'm going to kind of flip it. What I usually do is I leave a little bit on the side. I want to leave about an inch and a half on each side and I'll flip it and then kind of eye, you know, eye figuring or eye fucking is <laughs> as easy as you want to say it. I will cut a little bit more off. Okay, that's all I'm doing. It's always good to do it with a uh, square. Way the lines come nice and nice and easy. Okay, so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat this up. Uh, I have a uh, hot plate that I use. You could use a toaster oven. You could use the heat gun, and then you're going to have to do a press. All right, whichever press you decide to use, up to you. I buy all my stuff from knife kits. Okay, so go to knife kits. They have all the stuff you need to make holsters and sheets. All right, so what I'm doing is I'm heating up the Kydex on my hot plate, and then I'm also heating up the pad. What that does is it makes it a little bit softer. It is cold in here. I don't know if you can see I'm wearing a sweatshirt. And I would also heat up the knife as well. Just give it a little bit more to conform to. Alright, so pro tip there, uh, I just used the uh, press, took me a little bit, but I don't use the uh, chain that comes with it, Knife Kit sells it with the chain, I just use the C-clamp on it, and then what I try to do is always try to follow the spine of the knife, not the actual curvature, okay, so you need to have enough kydex in front, side, back, rear, all that stuff, and just follow the spine of the knife, because ultimately, that's the side that's just going to slip into the kydex. If you have a little too much space up here, um, sometimes you, you get that fishing or you're trying to fish to reholster it and we don't want to do that. So I'm satisfied with this. I'm going to go ahead and uh, make some cutouts over here, draw it up, cut it out, and then drill my pilot holes. Alright, so as you can see I kind of roughly mapped out where I want my pilot holes to be. A lot of this is eye fudging, okay, so I kind of want to make it look symmetrical. So I'm going to leave the longer line up 
and then all I'm going to do is just drill my holes. The holes are the most important because you want it to look symmetrical, but you also, it, it adds, it's for a function. The function is to make sure that this strap has multiple adjustment pit, uh, pieces. So I could bring it all the way down here at the bottom if I want, or if I want to make it a little tighter or bring it up, I can bring it tighter. And then over here, this is going to be more of a tension, a tensioner. Okay. So I have one, two, three, four adjustments. Okay. Depending on the person's need. And if they wanted to, they could flip it around and do the same thing on the other side. So if you write a left-handed one little strap, nice, nicely done kydex sheath. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to drill the holes. simple drill some holes now I got to cut this out clean the holes up all that good stuff Make sure you use all the protection you need. It's about a 36 or 40 grit belt, and you need it just to do all the cuts. If it's too, uh, if the grit's not tough enough, or if it's not rough enough, what will happen is you start melting the kydex. You don't want to melt it; you want to cut it. So what I'm doing now is just basically scraping off all the little extra burrs and stuff that's on there just using a razor knife. I went from like a 40 grit uh, to get just to cut the plastic, shape it the way I want, to a 120 grit, then a 220 grit just to get all the scratches out. I'm going to hand sand it as well, but then I use a straight edge just to get all the little burrs and all the little uh, plastic pieces off the, the sheet itself. It's a little bit tedious, but it pays off in the long run. I think I got a pretty good fit. So, pretty good fit so now if you needed to you could actually draw it like a gun and your finger goes right into the hole okay as before with the older sheath right you have no real purchase you just have to pull it out and then readjust so with the new sheath okay draw it like a gun you have all this space right here you could even use your thumb to push off if you needed to a little better design not that much work, but I'm going to clean it up and make it look pretty now. Two twenty. Rip a piece off. Start hand sanding. A lot of work.
right, so typically what I do is I try to do a little bit of burnishing, uh, burnishing or buffing, if you will. I use a little bit of Dremel, a little bit of uh, white clay or buffing compound. I'm, I'm not trying to burn it, I'm just trying to get a little bit of all those scratches and stuff. So I'm just trying to get the scratches out. Takes a little bit of technique. You don't want to have your buffing wheel in one area for too long, and you start to get like you start to burn holes in the plastic. It looks pretty terrible. It's not good quality. If you set this for too high, you'll wind up doing that. You'll wind up just burning a hole in the plastic. So, just want to kind of keep it at a low speed and just keep it moving. That's all it is. Make sure there's no sharp edges. Alright, so once this is all cleaned up, burnish the sides so you get that nice clean up that's from the buffer. Get all the scratches out. So now I'm going to put the sheet together. Depending on what side, I think he wants the left side, so I'm not really sure, but uh, I would put the eyelets in all on the same side. If you want to carry it that way, that's fine. Make sure you have all the dust, all the crud, and everything else, all right? So now the eyelets are in, it's fixed. And then what I typically do is I use a little bit of Balstol. Balstol will clean your Kydex. It'll also lube up the inside a little bit, make it a little bit easier to slip, and slip in and slip out the knife. Uh, it's just a little trick. Uh, don't soak it in there, just do a little bit, okay? So I'm just going to do a little squirts the squirts here and there, and then I'm going to clean this up. It's going to look like a million dollars. Alright, if you put too much in, just use the... You want a little bit in, you don't want to put too much in there. Alright, so the knife's in there. Might seem a little, a little tight. Just work it a little bit. All right, so now you have like a nice draw. No rattle, absolutely no rattle at all. So then, what I'm going to do? Uh, more battle stall in there. Loop that up, clean it up. Finish the sides. So this is all right. This is a rubber strap. I think I got these on Holster X or knife kits, and as you can see on there, it actually has little marks so two two inches 1.75 1.50 and 125 okay so that's those are belt loops i already have this pre-set up so again i'm going to clean this up a little bit clean this up let's see that battle stroller that's how that works 
lube it up nice, clean it. You want all your stuff to be nice and clean. But I did just stab myself, so I did okay. Alright. That'll store up the ticks. Gets all that weird stuff off there. I think this is an inch, so it's an inch thick. Inch thick. Um, so what I'll do now is if I was going to wear this, let's say on this side, on my left side, and I wanted to use it as a gun kind of thing, I would probably do it on the inside. However, I'm going to use I guess I'll use this hole right here, it looks pretty good. Maybe the next one, I'm not sure. Oh. Alright guys, so what I have here is a duty belt. Battle belt, whatever, this is about two inches. This is about two inches right here. These straps are brand new, the buttons are brand new. It's a little bit more difficult to get them on. You have two ways to attach it. You can attach it from the outside or you can attach it on the inside, your preference. Now, because it's a strap, it will move. So if you wanted to put it on a cant, whatever, you can do that. The only thing I suggest is that you tighten up the back so it locks the strap in place. I have it a little bit loose. So if it does get next to your gear, you can just adjust it as necessary, okay? So the way this goes on, and you can see inside here, there's a little bit of a shelf on this upper hand right here. So you would, to snap this close, you have to bring it in from the back end. I don't know if you can see that. Bring it in from the back end and then roll it over. If you try to snap it from the front end, it will not go. If you try to snap it on top, it will not go. So you have to roll it in from the back and then push it forward. That's the only way this thing is going to go on. Okay. So I'm going to try that. It's a little bit difficult because like I said, this is a brand new belt, uh, a brand new strap. But there you go. It's on. Okay. So it's not going anywhere. And again, like I said, if you need it and you got it, a little safety precaution, it's in there. You might have to wiggle the knife in a little bit just to get it into the right spot that you want. Once it's set up, tighten this screw the way you want it. And what that does is it brings the strap closer and tighter and it won't, it won't adjust anymore, okay? That's just a little bit of the wiggle room that we have here. What's good about this is also we have the adjustments. Let me loosen this back up. Okay, we have adjustments. So if you want to bring this strap up or down, depending on your needs, you can. So you just take it off from the back, bring it down here, bring it down here, bring it up here, and that'll adjust the height. If you want to bring it on the other side, just take this off, put it on this side, and then you can wear it on the other side of your duty belt, gun belt, etc. Okay, so that's, that's pretty much set up for that. This is going to get a little bit of a cleaning and then we're going to send it out. So that's pretty much it guys. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean this up a little bit more, get it ready to get shipped out. I hope you guys appreciate this video. Please do the like and subscribe thing. If you guys are interested in any custom knives, either for your duty belt or regular day use or if you have a wood blade, whatever, please go to 3riverkydex.com. I'm still making knives. You can go to 3 River Blades. I'll make all the knives that you need. Um, but if you want a custom holster or a custom sheath, I could also make those as well. Thank you very much. Please go check out all the links below and also become a patron. Uh, we appreciate any type of support that we can get. Thank you and stay safe.